In this video, this is a continuation of our educational series on the 29 axe bar. And for this one, we're talking about the Wabasto diesel heater. So please take a look at this video and let us know if you have any questions. So the functionality behind this diesel heater is very simple. You just gotta make sure that there's fuel in the boat. You've got this dial here that turns, and then you've got this power outlet as well. I've turned the dial so it's woken up. You'll see that we are right in the menu screen right now. One thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the power light. This power light is, gives you really good information because this light has three different colors, blue, green, and white. With white, nothing's really happening. It's just an idle mode. But when it goes to green, that's tell you that it's in heating mode. So I'll put it on heating mode right now. Press the center of this dial. Do you have three different ventilation speeds for your fan speeds. So you got eco, normal, and boost. Let's just turn it to normal. Press the center button, choose the temperature, 70 degrees, sure, why not? Boom, so you can see immediately that power button is on green. So that's telling me that it's going through the heat cycle right now. Now it will take under heat mode, it probably takes like five minutes or five minutes or less to really start getting going and for you to notice the heat coming out because it needs to go through a, its own cycle. But if you give it a minute, it's gonna start producing heat. Now, another option that I really enjoy using sometimes is uh, ventilation mode. This is a nice mode to use sometimes so this is fan speed here. Go up to level four, select it. Duration, how long you want to go for. Let's do max duration. Now see how the, the power button is in blue mode. That's just telling me the fan is on. It's taking outside air, putting it through the ventilation system and pumping fresh air into the boat, which it can be a really nice thing too. If it's hot and raining out and you want to have some fresh air ventilation, I sometimes will turn on this diesel heater and fan only mode and that's just pumping nice fresh air into the cabin. So uh, that's one of the many uh, benefits of, of having this diesel heater. Now, where does the heater ducting come in from? Where is the unit? All that sort of stuff. Let's go through that now. The unit is just hidden behind this, this uh, compartment right here underneath the deck surface. So if you do need to service it, which it requires next to no servicing, but you know, I'm sure at some stage someone will need to look at it. That is how you can get to the unit. So when you do get the diesel heater, you also need a tank to support the fuel. So this is where your fuel fill is for your diesel heater. It's about six gallons in size. The diesel heater is literally just sipping fuel. I believe it, when it's on, it's burning 0.15 or something like, somewhere 0.115 or somewhere around there gallons an hour. So you can run all night long and then some, cause this thing is just sipping diesel fuel while it's on. One thing that is important for you to be aware of is this is your exhaust for the diesel heater. So you just wanna make sure that you don't have anything blocking this exhaust while it's on. You wouldn't want a fender. It's be, be hard to put a fender over here because the, the handrail doesn't go far forward enough, but you wouldn't want a fender or anything else uh, blocking this uh, while you are using the heater. So th that's something to be aware of. You know, that's another indicator that it is working. You can just look out to see if you see any heat coming out of here when you first turn on the diesel heater. Anywhere where you see this Wabasto vents right here, that's where the heat is coming into. And there's ducts all over the place. You've got one here, another ducting port right there. Forward, right next to the helmsman right there, you've got nice ducting heat so your toes will be nice and cozy with the diesel heater on. And then you've got these guys right here, which is really great too, because it helps prevent um, from the windshields getting fogged up or anything like that in certain conditions. So, and then all the way forward in the multi-storage cabin, you also have ducting going into that space as well to keep that space heated or ventilated depending on, on what mode you're on. I hope you find this uh, information educational on the Wabasso diesel heater for the 29 Axopar. Please keep an eye out for future educational videos on these boats.